Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to my Thursday night stamp therapy. I'm so excited to stamp with you guys tonight. For the first time, we are trying an interactive stamping experience. What does that mean? Well, if you knew about this ahead of time, then hopefully you have prepared your materials so that you can follow along with me. If you are watching the replay of this and um, you would like to stamp along, then you're going to need some basic supplies. You are going to need some designer paper. We're using two different patterns that um, coordinate with each other. So these two that I'm using tonight are from the Magnolia Lane designer paper, but you can use any designer paper for this. You wanna start with a six by 12 inch piece of paper. And um, if your design has an up and down, you want it to be facing up when you have the very long 12 inch side at the top. So we're gonna cut these together. In the description of this video, I have included a template and, and I'm gonna guide you through cutting this, but this is what we're cutting. So if you want to print this later for your reference or while we're doing it, this is available. The link is in the video description. So you need two pieces of six by 12 designer paper and you wanna make sure that you like all four sides because we're going to mix and match and use all of them. Okay, so hopefully if you're tuning in right now live, hopefully you have your stuff ready to go, but I'm going over the supplies one more time for people who may be watching the replay. Um, okay, so then we need some card bases. So I have prepared 10, actually 11. I did prep one more. Um, for a bonus card. So you're going to need 11 card bases. These are just standard eight and a half by five and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter, and they coordinate with my designer paper. And then you also need four pieces that are three and a quarter inch by five inches. So you need four of those. Now, if you have very vanilla in your designer paper, you can use very vanilla instead or any, any neutral. The goal here is just to try to keep your supplies really simple because I know that a lot of you watching have a lot of stuff already at home. You don't need new stuff. You can use whatever you have on hand for this. So I'll be using the Magnolia Blooms stamp set. And let me show you guys where this stamp set's from. You may be scratching your head because this is not in the annual catalog. The Magnolia Blooms stamp set is in the Experience Creativity brochure. This is the new Stamper brochure. It's right here on page eight in the middle. And this is not the only stamp set that's exclusive to this brochure. This stamp set and this one as well, the Hoot Hoot Hooray, are not pictured in the annual catalog. But all of these are available for anyone to purchase. You can find these in the online store. I really love this Magnolia Blooms stamp set because it's only $14. What? That's it. Yeah, just $14. I love the happy birthday, the thank you, the congratulations. It's got some flowers. So I thought this was a really great choice because it was such um, a, a simple, easy stamp set. Then you're going to want some ink pads, of course, too. Coordinating ribbon and adhesive. So are you guys ready? Holy macaroni. We've got 65 people watching live. This is so exciting. All right, so let me just put in a plug really quick. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome! We stamp together every Thursday night at 7.10 p.m. Why 7.10? Because I'm always running late. <laughs> so I just made that the official start time. 7.10 p.m. Central Time because I live in Illinois. And if you just joined before or after I said hello, hi, uh, my name is Julie Davison. I've been a demonstrator for almost 18 years. I can hardly believe that. And I'm so, I'm so excited to see it. So this is the first time I've done this. And this is the first time we've had this many people connecting. So I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to try to, um, to watch all the comments. However, if I miss your comments, then I promise I will look at them afterwards and respond or answer your question. If you have a question, that I'm not answering. Just ask it again if I don't see it. Thank you so much for sharing and helping other people join us. Okay, are you guys ready? Do you have all your stuff? I just realized I need to share this too really quick. So let me just click over here. I'm going to share with our share and connect group. We have a Facebook group because this is a Facebook page and sometimes it's easier for us to connect and share things when we're on um, a Facebook group. So I hope that you will join us over on the Share and Connect group. Um, 
is this the right video? Let me see. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I'm just giving this a quick share to the group and you can join us over there afterwards. Share. Damn with us. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Like I said, hopefully you've got all your pieces. We're going to step through um, cutting the... Um, Oh, I forgot to mention, you're going to need some scraps for punching. Okay, we're going to step through cutting the, the designer paper together. And we'll go through these. There are three different layouts, actually four, including the bonus card. I've prepared this um, worksheet for you that has all the instructions and the layouts and how to cut it. I will post this after the video is over so that you can reference it later. I didn't want you guys to skip ahead because I know sometimes... My stampers in person, they like to skip ahead sometimes, but we're going to do this together. So this is our, our 6 by 12 paper. It's not to scale because this is only an 11 inch sheet of paper, um, but we're going to start on the end. We're going to cut these first and then these and then these. And I'm going to cut both sheets at the same time. So um, I think most paper cutters can handle. The designer paper is usually a little bit thinner, so it should be fine. Um, however, if you don't feel comfortable cutting two sheets at once, then you can cut them separately. So I'm lining it up at four and a half inches. Okay, this is our first cut with the designer paper. We've got the long edge at the top, and I'm cutting four and a half inches. And that is going to be the first piece that we're working with. So I'm setting the big piece aside. And then we're going to make some more cuts on this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it. And we're putting the same edge at the top. Now this is the short edge. And we're going to cut it at one and a half inches. And one and a half inches again. So we have three strips that are one and a half inch by six inches. Now we're going to take each of them and we're going to turn them with the long edge at the top and we're going to cut at three inches. And we're going to do this for each of the strips so that we end up with six pieces or 12 if you count both sheets of paper. Okay, so this was the this was the part we're doing right here. We cut four and a half inches first, and then we cut one and a half, one and a half, and we cut them in half at three. I don't want to go too fast, but while you guys are cutting and hopefully you're you're keeping up, I'm going to sort these out so that I have all four patterns showing. So your papers are going to look different and that is okay. So you should have three of each pattern in four different piles. And then the first card, we're going to mix and match the patterns and put them on these white pieces. So again, these white pieces are three and one quarter inch by five inches and there are four of them so we're going to make four cards with all of these pieces and so we're going to just take these and mix and match and they can be however you want them to be each one can be the same each one can be different these are your cards there's not a wrong way and you're probably using different designer paper than I am, and so yours are gonna look totally different because you have different paper. Look at that one, I'm just gonna go, I don't know, I feel like I wanna mix it up a little bit. You can play around and mix and match however you would like yours. And then when you're ready, you're going to glue them down on the white cardstock. Holy macaroni. This is so exciting. I'm so glad you guys are all here stamping with me tonight. Is there anyone who's not stamping? Maybe you're just watching and you're going to stamp along later. 
I, I'm going to assume that most of you are are cutting and stamping with me. So like I said, I'm going to try not to go too fast because I want you to be able to keep up. And if I am going too fast and you're getting lost, please just leave me a comment and tell me to slow down. I have been stamping, like I said, for 18 years almost that I've been a demonstrator. And so when I am making cards, sometimes I forget that... Um, that I move a little faster than <laughs> I move a little faster sometimes than everybody else. So I'll try not to go too fast. All right. So a lot of you are just watching, not stamping. Just okay. Well, hi, Eva. I'm so glad that you're watching for the first time. So normally my Thursday night stamp therapies, usually I'm just stamping and you're watching and I'm showing you different techniques or new products. Um, but we did this, um, this class with our DDM, that's Demonstrator Development Manager, Shannon West. And she did this class uh, with the Great Lakes Demonstrator Group on Friday night and it was so much fun. She told us ahead of time what supplies we needed and everyone had their own supplies and stamped along with her. And um, that was the first time I'd ever really done something like that. Usually I'm the one that's organizing stamp classes, but it was a lot of fun to just stamp with Shannon. And I thought I'm gonna do this with all of my favorite stampers because I miss I miss seeing everybody in person. It's just not the same. And I'm sure that all of you miss going to classes and seeing your stamping friends, whether it's me and the local champagne group here or all your stamping friends wherever you are across the country and around the globe. All right. Oh, Lori, your stamp stuff is packed. That's so sad. Okay, a lot of you are just walking 16 hours, Christina. Oh my goodness. I would be exhausted. Okay, Janet Stamping Lady. You know what I'm guessing? I'm guessing that if you are stamping right now, that um, you can't type because you're stamping. <laughs> so all the comments I'm getting from people are the people who are... Um, who are not stamping because those are the people who are just hanging out. Okay, Danette says I'm going way too fast. I'm so sorry, Danette. I will try to slow it down. All right. I am, I am going to move slow, but I'm going to keep going because if you're just watching, I don't want you to just be, just be hanging out. So I'm picking out my card bases. I've got three different colors, but I'm making four cards. So I'm going to double up on, we'll double up on green on this card. Oh, Maria, I'm sorry. I'm going fast. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to slow it down a little bit. So hopefully the cutting part, you got that okay. We cut it four and a half inches and then we cut one and a half inch strips and we cut those in half at three. And because we're cutting two sheets at a time, we have 12 pieces and we have mixed and matched the 12 pieces on the Whisper White, which is three and a quarter by five inches. Hi, Yvonne. I'm so glad that you're joining us. I, I, Bonnie, I, I did think that maybe having some of the prep work would help us get through it a little faster. When we stamped with Shannon last weekend, I think it was almost two hours. And I, um, I stand up when I do these, uh, Facebook lives so that I can see the comments on my phone. And, um, that's a long time for me to stand up. I did get one of those, um, one of those, um, what do you call them? The mats, the um, anti-fatigue mat. And that has really helped. Um, and Pauline, you're right. There's always the replay and you can pause <laughs> and stay in step with me on the replay. So I'm going to move forward. Hopefully you guys have caught up or at least enough that if you don't get everything exactly glued down, you can just set it aside and finish gluing it down later. Um, it doesn't have to be 
totally completed, but hopefully you're getting the idea and, and sticking with me. So right now I'm going to just take these layers now and add them to the card base. These cards are just really simple layering with a designer paper. You don't need a lot of extra tools. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff. However, if you want to, you can embellish your cards and add details and add, you know, extra things to it. And I will show you some of the cards that I made. I was using a different paper. I was using the Follow Your Art paper last week when I made these cards with um, Shannon. And I got out the embellishment kit. So I was adding um, extra things and I did a little bit more stamping than Shannon was doing. But um, it's sort of up to you and your own pace. And like I said, you can always go back and embellish and add things later. Okay, so we have our cards, we've put them on the card base. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add some ribbon. And so I, I chose to bring a couple different ribbons in that match really well. So I've got the Petal Pink Organdy ribbon and the Magnolia Lane. Um, I'm sorry, Pam. Um, the Magnolia Lane um, ribbon combo this so this comes with the um the twine as well so both of these come together and the magnolia lane paper is in the annual catalog which is um it's getting ready to retire this spring so if you are a demonstrator you're you're going to be able to see the new catalog on um, April 22nd and that's also the day that they're going to post the retiring list so we'll see what is going to retire from the catalog and what is going to carry over. I'm super excited. Okay I'm, I'm trying to slow down. We're cutting pieces of ribbon and all I'm doing is I'm taking the ribbon and I'm just kind of holding it up to gauge on how to cut it and I'm just cutting um, angles on the ribbon so this this ribbon right now is just gonna lay flat and you're just gonna glue it in the middle of your card so I am going to just cut two of each I'll get a ruler out and measure I know my my cutting trick wasn't really that specific but it's about five inches of ribbon and if you have more than one ribbon, you could add double ribbon. Let me show you a card I did with the other paper. Okay, so here's my cards. So I, I added the ribbon this way. Here's an extra embellishment I added. On this one, I put it straight across the middle and I, I used another felt thing. On my cards, when I did this with Shannon, I, I was using different punches and just grabbing whatever I had behind me. So all of my cards are a little bit different. I use some different ribbons. So here I doubled up and I used two ribbons. So it's up to you. You can do multiple ribbons. You can add extra embellishments. You can layer your punches. So right now I'm just, I'm gonna keep this simple and I'm just gonna put one piece of ribbon across the middle of each. And I'm just using a little snail adhesive to hold it down and then pushing the ribbon on top of it. And I'm just going to trim. I like there to be a little breathing room on the side. Um, Margo, my card bases are uh, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, and Sahara Sand. But you're going to have, or you may have different paper and different colors. And so you might have four different color card bases um, and, and not a double or a duplicate like I have. So um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can use whatever you have. When I was using this other paper, I had four different color card bases because the pattern, the paper was um, very colorful and gave me lots of different choices. I could have even put another light pink in there, um, but I just stuck with the, the four colors. These colors are Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Pacific Point, and Crushed Curry. Okay, I'm trying to see if I missed any um, comments. Are you guys keeping up okay? So I'm putting the ribbon on the middle 
And then um, the next part after we put the ribbon in the middle is going to be um, the stamping part. And um, again, you may have a different stamp set, you might be having different ink, so you can start your, your greetings if you're ready before I am, you can start stamping and punching your sentiments. Or if you are behind, you can always add them later. We can get just the, the basic, you know, outline, the basic layout of the card down, and then you can go back and embellish and add your 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 details and your your greetings later. Let me get rid of my ribbon scraps. The punch that I'm using is the everyday label punch, and I'm gonna pre-punch all of my greetings and I'm going to stamp them all at once just to be efficient. You can stamp and punch as you go or you can stamp them all at once right now. So if you're if you're punching them and stamping you want to do 11. I know I said 10 cards but I'm throwing in a bonus. A bonus card. Yay! There was an extra scrap of the designer paper and I thought I didn't want to just leave it, leave it be. Let me count. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I got one extra. You know what? I'm going to stamp it just in case. Because how many times do you stamp and then mess up and have to punch again? So I'm just going to do twelve just to have them ready. I'm using Memento and Petal Pink. And um, I send a lot of thank you cards. I have a lot of people that order online for me. And if you would like to do that, you can shop on my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. In the description of this video, there's a link to my online store and host code. And I, I send out little um, thank you gifts and thank you cards to people who order from me. So I am going to do all my cards with a thank you stamp from this Magnolia Blooms stamp set. But you may be doing different greetings. Um, and using maybe thinking of you or a birthday um, but I'm gonna make all mine the same so you can do yours however you'd like you can make them the same you can make them different um, you can just have your greeting on there or you can add like I'm gonna do I'm just adding another little image so all of my um, tags are going to be the same and if you feel like you want to stamp as you go or you're running out of time uh, trying to keep up then you can always add your words later I know some people that leave their cards blank and then they save them until they're ready to send them so that they can customize them with the words and the greetings that they need so that's another idea too if you're not sure how you're going to use these cards yet then maybe you don't want to stamp your sentiments yet maybe you want to to wait and do them afterwards when you're ready to send your card Okay, so very efficient. I'm getting all my flowers down and then I'm going to use the black to stamp the thank you. I think it just looks so nice just having that light flower. Oh, Marsha, I'm sorry you missed the beginning. That's okay. This is the first card and um, you can jump in when we start the second card and then you can come back and do the first card later. But if you are just joining right now and you plan to stamp with us, then you can go ahead and do your greetings. You can punch them out ahead of time and stamp them so that they're ready to go for your other cards or you can stamp along the way. Hi, Julie. I'm glad you're going to catch the replay. It's so much fun to, to follow along and stamp at the same time. And um, for me, really, when I did it with Shannon last week, it was just fun because I know that if I didn't do it live with her or if I didn't follow along, that I probably, I probably wouldn't have done it because sometimes that's how it goes. I have good intentions and then things come up and I just don't get a chance to follow through. So this was, I thought, a fun way for you guys to stamp at the same time and not um, 
and not have any excuse, right? You have nowhere to go right now. What little flower did I use? Um, I used this flower from the Magnolia Blooms stamp set. So the thank you and the flower are from the same stamp set. Hi, Andrea. I'm sorry you can't join us live, but I know you'll have fun stamping on the replay. Okay. I am adding dimensionals to the back and then we're going to finish off the first four cards with our greetings right in the middle. Hi Nadine, thank you for joining. Are you stamping with us tonight or just watching? We are making 10, nope, 11 cards total tonight. And this is the first four. So the first four are the same card layout. And we're just putting our sentiments on and finishing them up. And then we'll have seven more cards to make. This layout, these, uh, this template, it, I think is very, um, addicting like I just want to make more and more cards and you make 11 cards each time so um, if you're sending cards to all your friends who you're not seeing right now this is a really great um, template to use to make a lot of cards and then they're all different because you're mixing and matching the designer paper so even though they're the same they're still a little bit different I'm gonna slow down so that you guys don't get overwhelmed um, and I will tell you a little bit about this pattern so um, Shannon is calling this the double wonder card template and the double comes from two sheets and it's a very popular technique to do a one sheet wonder so you may have heard of that before where you take one sheet of designer paper or you stamp your own designer paper and then you cut it apart and you use the pieces on different cards so this is the same concept of as the one sheet wonder but instead of just a single pattern Shannon included um, two different sheets of paper and cut them at the same time and, and mixed and matched them so I really like this um, style because I think it's very colorful and they're very pretty to see all the different patterns because not only do we have you know both sides of one sheet but we have both sides of two sheets so we have um, four different designer paper patterns to work with okay I'm going to move on to the next card if you are not done with your greetings or not done putting these cards together don't fret. You can just set them aside and finish them at the end. Right now you're going to grab your designer paper back out. Now if you are just joining us and you're stamping with us, we've already cut off four and a half inches. So here's the template. This is the part that we just did. So if you want to continue on to the next part with us, then you'll want to cut off four and a half inches from your paper and set that aside to use on the first set of cards later on. The next part we're going to do is we're going to cut four inches off and we're going to create the second set of cards. So I've got the long side of the designer paper at the top and I'm going to cut at four inches. I have uh, the four inch piece and the three and a half inch piece and the three and a half inch piece I'm going to set aside and the four inch piece we're going to cut a little skinny strip off the bottom and then we're going to cut it into one inch strips. Okay, so the first part is that little skinny strip on the bottom. So we're going to line up, I'm turning the cardstock so that the long edge is at the top. And I'm going to line it up with five and one quarter inch. And that will leave three quarters of an inch on this side. And we're going to cut that off. These pieces are going to be used on um, the next card. So I'm going to set these two pieces aside with the three and a half inch piece. And then we're going to go back to cutting this designer paper into the one inch strips. So I'm going to turn the, the paper so that the short end is at the top of the paper cutter. And I'm going to cut the four inches. I'm going to cut at three inches so that I have a one inch strip. I'm going to cut at two inches. For another one inch strip and I'm going to cut at one inch 
so that I have a total of four or eight, if you count both sheets, one inch strips. This is a really fun card layout. I, I can't remember the demonstrator that um, Shannon said she saw it from. Let me show you the card and then I'm gonna show you how we're going to make it. So here is the card um, that I created when I did Shannon's class. So what we're going to do is we're going to score the card front and then fold it back. In Shannon's cards, she tied the ribbon all the way around the card to hold it closed. Then you would untie it to open the card. However, when I made the cards, I felt like it was kind of bulky to have the ribbon tied all the way around. So I just glued that flap down and then added the designer paper. So now you can see how the paper is going to be put on. We're going to have these strips, one on the inside and one on the folded flap. So you can decide which four card bases you would like to use. And we're going to score them with the paper trimmer. Even yes, this is the new paper trimmer from Stampin' Up! And it has an arm that extends out so you can cut up to 17 inches. I love that the blades are so much larger than the other blades. It does come with a scoring blade. That's the lighter one. And the darker one is the cutting blade. Uh, it has a lot of features that I like, like the numbers that repeat here in the center and the, um, the marks every quarter inch. The one thing I will say, and maybe you can kind of see, is the cutting track has like uh, a little raised edge on either side of it. Um, and so if you push too hard when you cut, let me see if I can show you. If you push really hard, maybe this paper is not going to work so well. You get a very like... Um, kind of an, an edge that it creates when it pushes against that edge. And so you don't really need a very, um, you don't need a hard touch, just a really gentle um, touch and it cuts beautifully like butter. Okay, but we're not using the cutting blade. We're going to use the scoring blade and we're going to line up on this side of the trimmer we have um, we have measurements. So we have a quarter inch, a half inch, three quarters, one inch, and then one and a quarter and one and a half. So I like to line up for these smaller measurements. I'm lining the card up on this side, one and a, one and a quarter inch over here. And then I'm going to take the, um, the scoring blade and score down. So I'm creating one score mark on each card front. So there's four cards for this layout. So one each of four different cards at one and a quarter inch. What catalog did Lousy the Magnolia blow? <laughs> oh, okay. I think we had a little typo there. Because um, the Magnolia suite is not lousy. Um, <laughs> Facebook always, I always have weird to close. Okay, so Magnolia Blooms. This is part of the Experience Creativity brochure. So this is, some of these um, stamp sets do not appear in the annual catalog. So Jill, you are absolutely right. <laughs> you probably are thinking, where did this come from? It's in this uh, Experience Creativity brochure. And, um, the Magnolia Bloom stamp set includes, it's just like this cute little stamp set. So it's $14. It's item number 152729. If you're listening and don't have time to write down, I have the link for this and all the supplies that I'm using in the description of the video. So this stamp set is called Magnolia Blooms. And while I'm here, I want to show you there's these other stamp sets that don't appear in the annual catalog. Celebrate with cake and the super cute hoot hoot hooray so these stamp sets are all available for anyone to order and um they are just in this mini 
Experience Creativity brochure. So this brochure is uh, intended for beginner stampers, new stampers. It kind of highlights some of our stamping kits and some easy ways to get started stamping um, that don't require a lot of supplies. So this Magnolia uh, Bloom stamp set you can get by itself or you can get it as part of this little like mini kit that has mini ink spots and these little mini cards. So um, really fun. That's where that came from. Okay, are you guys all ready? Do you have your card bases scored? Um, we're going to fold on a score line, and then this flap that we just scored, we're going to uh, fold that back. And like I said, you can leave it. Um, you can leave it and um, have it be loose, or you can fold it like I've done. So I'm going to fold all of mine um, just because I think... It sticks better and I don't want to wrap the ribbon all the way around and tie it um, it's kind of bulky to send a card that way it's really pretty you could also use a belly band if you want to um, to kind of keep that fun fold open instead of gluing it down um, oh Diana I'm sorry you missed the cutting part uh, for the second group yep let me show you the template again so this was the first part that we did and the next piece that we cut we cut four inches off of the big piece that we had left over and then this was the first cut we cut three quarters of an inch off the end and then we cut one inch strips with what was left okay so that was the designer paper and then on the card base we scored four different card bases. We scored at one and a quarter inch, and then we're folding it back and gluing it down. Okay, I'm gonna leave the template so you can see it, and I'm going to start mixing and matching so again we have um we have all these different sides to our paper that we can use and so you can mix and match how you would like them to be on your card so you can have i i for my patterns i kind of liked to have the flowers be on the inside and then the um the sort of neutral like this is the stripes and this one is kind of a neutral pattern. It's a little less busy um, and have that be on the front. And then um, I'll add the, the sentiment over here. So you can mix and match, or you can make them all the same. It's totally up to you. Whoever you're sending cards to, they have no idea if somebody else got the same card as them. So it's up to you if you want to make all your cards different, or if you want to make them all the same. Are you guys keeping up okay? I'm trying not to go too fast. Okay, so this piece on the inside. So because we scored at one and a quarter and the designer paper is one inch, you do have a little border around the um, designer paper. So the same border is gonna be um, on, the, on the card base there as well. Now for this green, I might have to go back and add like a white cardstock in here so that I can write on it and see. Um, I did not prepare pieces like that to do tonight during the live, but like I said, you can go back and you can add more embellishments to your card and um, dress them up a little bit more, or do some more stamping. Um, tonight we're just kind of going over these layouts and, um, and just sort of keeping it simple. So you can make your cards as simple or fancy as you want. Speaking of which, I would really love it if you guys would share your cards that you make um, in the Share and Connect group. So after um, 
after tonight's live, just snap a little picture and I'll start a post or you can just start a new post and share your cards over in the share and connect group. And um, that way we can see what everybody created and how they're all different and, um, and be inspired to try this with other paper and other colors because I'm sure that your cards are going to look a lot different from mine. I'll, I will show you the other cards that I did with the pattern, the follow your art paper that I was using when I did Shannon's class. I keep like going through my paper and like being inspired and pulling stuff out and uh, coming up with coordinating colors. So I actually made up a couple kits and I had a few people that stopped and picked them up. And if you're interested in a kit to, um, to make these cards at home. Oh, I was going to do a different pattern and I forgot. Let me, so actually let's give away a kit. How about that? Let's, uh, I have, um, this one will be so fun. So um, I have these kits that I made up for um, a couple people here that lived close by. So this is the designer paper, the card bases, the tags, and some ribbon, and the white pieces that you need. So I'm going to give this kit away to someone who is watching live. And if you're interested in buying a kit, I can send one to you. So let me know. Leave a comment or send me a message, and we can um, talk about what paper I have available, and I can work on making you... Um, making up a card for you. Holy macaroni, 99, 95, 94 people. Okay, so are you guys ready? Um, usually in my Facebook Live, when I give something away, I have people guess um, something. Sometimes it's a number, sometimes it's a color, um, sometimes it's a stamp set. Um, but tonight, I'm going to have you guess what I ate for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to write it on a post-it note, and you just have to leave a comment and guess what I ate for dinner. And the first First person who guesses correctly will get to have uh, this kit. I will mail it to you. I'll probably cut the paper a little bit so I can mail it in a different um, in a different envelope. Okay, so I've got my post-it note. I wrote it down. I'll give you guys hints if you <laughs> if you need a hint, but hopefully you guys can guess. It's not it wasn't anything um, you know, crazy or, or different, but it was not pizza, it was not macaroni and cheese, uh, unless it wasn't tacos. We did have chicken tacos last night. April, you got it! <laughs> we had spaghetti tonight. We had spaghetti with meat sauce, and I had a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, and it was delicious. So congratulations to April Booth. I will send this this um, kit to you, April. And if you're interested in purchasing a kit with the uh, supplies to make a set of these cards, just leave me a comment. Like I said, we can, we can work it out. I can show you what papers I have, and um, I'll try to get some coordinating ribbons. Um, but like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys have paper and punches and cardstock at home. So we'll definitely, um, work that out. So good guesses guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was the first person who guessed correctly and that was April. So congratulations, April. You'll get that prize. <laughs> you had spaghetti too, Becky. It's um it's challenging on this um on this stay at home order to come up with new things for dinner. I feel like we're just having like our same same old you know standbys that are are delicious, but um tonight we just went classic. And actually the kids have been helping to decide um every morning we have a morning meeting and we we decide our schedule. And so they help pick out what's going to be for dinner. That gives them a little bit of control and they feel like they can you know decide something, especially for my little Anna. She is going on 10 and she's just kind of having a hard time, I think with not being able to go out and do things and see people. And um, so this is just something for her to, to have some say in and a little, a little bit of control over. Okay, 
we are going to add some bows to our cards and um, when Shannon showed this card like I said she tied ribbon all the way around the card so you can do that if you'd like um, I struggle sometimes with getting it to lay flat so um, I decided to just add some something a little simpler here are the other two cards I made. I just didn't put ribbon on these at all. I did add the little felts. Um, but I made up a set of these Magnolia cards this afternoon. And I just did some simple ribbon bows and added those to the cards with glue dots. So um, you can use your ribbon however you'd like. You can put it going up this way or add a little tail um, or do a knot. You know, there's not, there's not a wrong way. You can do it however you want. It's your card. Do it your way. This is that twine that comes in the Magnolia ribbon, Magnolia Lane ribbon combo pack. And I love it. It's, it's a mossy meadow and it's just really delicate and um, sometimes just perfect. Eva says, will we be able to get a copy of the instructions on how to cut the papers? Yes. I um, I didn't want to post it too early because I I wanted you guys to follow along and stamp with me, but I, I have the file ready to go. So as soon as um, I'm done with the live, I will add the link to this page to the video description. Um, so you'll be able to print it. It has the template that I've been showing you that has the big template at the top and then it has instructions for how to cut it and how to assemble and you know where to put it. So um, you'll be able to download that right after the live is over. So you can do that tonight and um, you can, where's my pink ribbon? You can um, use it as a reference. I knew that um, you guys would want to have that information to be able to duplicate these cards. So I got it all ready for you and I shared the template, the cutting template ahead of time so that you could um, print it out if you needed to reference it while we were stamping tonight. But um, the other one has the, the layouts as well and some a little bit more of instruction for cutting. So we will, I'll share that link. Yay! 100! This is so amazing. I said it at the beginning and I'll say it again. If you're joining for the first time tonight, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Thursday Night Stamp Therapy every Thursday night here at Julie's Stamping Spot. And usually I'm just sharing projects and I'm showing you all the latest and greatest things from Stampin' Up! But this time is a little different and we're doing this interactive card making, which is, I think, a lot of fun. So if you guys like this, then we'll have to try to do this another time um, with some other layouts and, you know, just kind of do a different set of supplies. Um, so you'll have to let me know how much fun this is and if you like it. But whether you're here for the first time or not, I hope that you'll join us next Thursday and um and see what we're making and what we're up to and please 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 if you're not already part of the share and connect facebook group i hope that you will join us over there and share the cards that you make tonight or whenever you make them if you're just watching and you make the cards over the weekend or next week or next month or whenever you can share a picture of your cards i would really love to see what you're making and how they turned out and um, I might make another set myself, <laughs> especially when you're making a bunch of cards to send. This is such a, a great, easy layout um, template to use because you can make so many cards um, at the same time. This ribbon, I feel like, is a little bit bulky, but it's really pretty. Oh, my goodness. This is just so exciting. Okay. Did you guys keep up okay? Are you ready to move on to the next, the next set of cards? I'm going to 
clean up my mess and give you a minute. So we just did these cards. And if you're doing other paper, maybe it looks different. Something like that. Oh, me too, Paula. I keep saying, like, I'm trying to... Paula said she needed this therapy. I'm trying to kind of keep myself in a little bubble and not get too wrapped up into looking at the news and... I mean, just enough to, you know, be aware of what's going on in the latest, but it's, it's, um, depressing to get too wrapped up in, into everything. And, um, so this is my therapy. It truly is right. Like a creative therapy, a, a way to distract myself with something that, um, that makes my heart happy. I hope it makes your heart happy too. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, well, my favorite friends are on tonight. I'm so glad you guys are all here. Are you ready to move on to the next card? <laughs> Cherry, you're getting one card to my four. I'm sorry. I'm trying not to go too fast. Um, but I realize that we all work at different paces. We have three more cards to go. And, um, like I said, if you don't finish, if you're not working at the same pace that I do, you can just set the cards aside and finish gluing down later, finish adding the ribbon later. Um, uh, maybe you didn't stamp your greetings yet. You can add those later. Um, so I'm going to give you 30 more seconds <laughs> to set aside your, um, to set aside your cards and you can wrap them up later. We're going to move on to the next cutting. So we're going to take um, we're going to take that paper back out. So this is what we have left. We have the three and a half inch piece from the end. And then we have this little piece from over here. And this is what we're going to use for the next two cards. So three and a half inches at the top. We're going to turn it so that the short or the long edge is up at the top of the paper cutter. Um, yeah, Jen, it is a new paper trimmer. It's so much better and it does the cutting blades hold up so much longer. I got this in November, I think, when it came out, and I just replaced the cutting blade for the first time this week. So that's amazing. I was not getting that much wear out of my cutting blades with the old trimmer. So I really, really love this one. Um, card making is my distressing happy place. Yes, yes, yes. Um, oh, <laughs> Colleen. Uh, Battle Creek, Michigan. I know where that is. My sister lives in Portage. Uh, and we we don't always go on 94 anymore. My parents live uh, near Detroit, and so um, we we kind of cut through Indiana now because 94 can be crazy sometimes, especially around Chicago. Um, I'm trying to slow down because I know you guys are <laughs> trying to keep up. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You can't make cards right now, Jenny, but I... I hope that watching is um, is therapeutic and calming because I'm feeling really, really calm right now. <laughs> Hi, Sharon from Australia. I'm so glad you're on tonight. Okay, so we are at the end of our, our card making. We've got three more cards to make. So if you're just joining, you missed the first eight, and you'll have to watch the replay because they were really awesome. We started with a piece of 6 by 12 inch designer paper, and we are on the last 3 and a half inch piece. I'm turning that 3 and a half inch piece so that the long side is at the top. And we're going to make um, a cut at two and one quarter. And I'm going to cut again at two and one quarter. Okay, so I've got these two pieces that are three and a half by two and one quarter. And I'm cutting two sheets at the same time, which is fine. And we're gonna, um, we're gonna flip them and and share the pattern so we're going to have one of each side and then these pieces are going to go in the middle of those 
before we glue that down, we've got these extra pieces on the bottom. And so this is, this is what this looks like. We have this little piece left over. This is, um, it's three and a half inches across and it is one and a half inch um, in width. And so we're gonna take this extra piece with the long piece at the top and we're going to cut it at one and three quarter inches. And we end up with four rectangles. These are not squares. They're a little bit longer than they are wide. Um, so if that's how they come out, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Okay, so four rectangles. And then we're gonna set this aside for our bonus card. These are the extra pieces. We'll come back to that for the bonus card. Okay, we're done with the cutting. We cut it two and a quarter and two and a quarter, and then our extra pieces, we cut at one and three quarter inches to cut that in half. Okay, I'm gonna put the paper trimmer aside because we're done with it. And let's get out our last three card bases. I have three different colors left. You might have different a different selection. I'm going to use Petal Pink and Mossy Meadow. And I am going to just glue these pieces on. So the first two pieces are the large ones. And we're going to glue these so that there is an even amount of space around the edges and from the top. Okay, so I'm just, just kind of eyeballing it and centering that at the top and centering this one at the bottom and there is a gap in the middle they do not meet and the gap is what the skinny strip is going to cover You can put that right in the middle, or I like to kind of move it up a little bit so that the top is looks smaller than the bottom, but it's actually the same, right? Because we just cut it, and they're both two and a quarter. Um, what do we want to do for a ribbon on this one? Hmm. I... I think I'm gonna do a twine bow on this. Yes, Pauline, you do hear my wind chimes. <laughs> oh, Grace, hi from New Zealand. I'm sorry that you missed the start, but we're almost done and you'll be able to go back and watch the replay. And it won't be quite the same as watching live, but you'll be able to see everything and stamp with us. Donna, I'm glad you're watching tonight. Did you see, um, no, oh, you're probably not in the Great Leagues group, Donna. Um, Shannon West is our DDM, Demonstrator Development Manager, and she has the Great Lakes region, which is Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, and Michigan. And so last Friday night, she went live in the Great Lakes group and shared this template and this class idea. So if you were not in the Great Lakes group, if you're not, if you don't live in one of those states, then um, you wouldn't have seen her little class that she did. With that... Easy, easy, easy peasy. So the wind chimes, um, the wind chimes are on the front porch and they were a wedding gift. Um, my husband and I have been married almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years in um, October. And they have moved from house to house with us. And so they're hanging on the front porch and my stamp room is at the front of the house. It's kind of like um, like a sitting room, I guess. It's like a living room right next to the living room. So it's not really a living room, um, but it's kind of a sitting room. 
So it's right at the front of the house and it is really windy today. Um, we've had some stormy weather and so today it was a lot cooler and the wind has been blowing, blowing, blowing all night. So my wind chimes are going crazy. Okay, for this one, I want to do a little different with the ribbon. I think I'm going to use this Magnolia Lane ribbon. And, sorry about the shaking. Um, Marsha, I can send you the link to her class. It's in the Great Lakes um, Demonstrator group. So if you're not in that group, you can join that group because you live in the Great Lakes area, but for those of you who are not in the Great Lakes area, you, you won't be able to see the post, so I won't share it with everybody because most people won't be able to see it. Oh, come on, booger. Okay, so I'm just kind of doing like a crossover with the ribbon. And then... Um, another another sentiment and can you believe this is card number 10 already I feel like that just went so fast I do have a bonus card so don't go away yet <laughs> Okay, love it. Clean up my little mess. All right, so this was card number um, nine and ten. Let's do a quick recap if you're just joining. The first card we did was this panel card. And I stamped all my sentiments ahead of time, and they're exactly the same. You might be doing different sentiments or adding yours later. The second card we did was this little flap card. So we scored it and folded it over. And so we had some different cards there. These are a different set of cards that I made during Shannon's class. And... I use the follow, follow your art paper to make those cards. So I'm, I'm just like swimming in cards. I've got so many cards. Better watch out. I'm going to start sending them to everybody. You ready for the last card? Yes, we are. <laughs> All right. For the last card, we're going to use the squares that we have the extra pieces and we are going to just flip them over and arrange them so that we have all um all four sides showing and we're gonna center them in the middle of our card now if you created 10 card bases then you'll need to, to do one more for this one I should have told you to, to cut 11, but I only told you 10, and then I gave you one extra. What do you think about that? <laughs> so I'm going to flip them over and glue them down. <laughs> You're right, I don't have your address, Jenny. When I'm gluing down squares like this, like I'm not gonna push down until I have it exactly where I want it to go and I can try to center it. Let me do a little slight pull up and tweak it, move it just a little bit. All right, and then you're gonna add your ribbon and your greeting. So if you want, you can put some ribbon across like this. I think I'm just gonna do another twine bow. 
so dimensionals on the back of a sentiment. I really like this little four square. I think it's so cute. Oh, Grace, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you tuned in tonight to watch. And I cannot wait to see your cards when they're all done. I hope that you guys will share photos, whether you finish tonight or tomorrow or whenever you get a chance to make your cards. Snap a picture and be sure to share in the Share and Connect group, which I think I've got linked in the description. It's a public group, so if you search for Julie's Stamping Spot, Share and Connect group or something like that, you'll be able to find it. So come find us. Join us over there. We have a lot of fun. I'm, I post multiple times um, every day sharing projects and funnies. And um, I have a really fun game we're going to play tomorrow for Fun Friday. All right, what do you think? Do you love these cards? I can't wait to see how yours turned out. Do you have a favorite layout? I... I think this last one might be mine. I really like how all four designs, and maybe it's just because I like how the four patterns of my paper go with each other, um, but I like the way that they all show. These two, I like those as well. So pretty, really letting the designer paper do all of the work. All right, guys, so as soon as I am done, I'm going to share this um, handout. I'll put the PDF link in the description so you can print it out. Um, it has at the top the template for cutting the designer paper. The only I didn't write on here that the designer paper is 6 inches by 12 inches, but... Um, Maybe I'll try to add that. Um, then I've got, for each layout, I've told you how to cut the paper and then where to put it. And then I kind of made like the little layout um, graphic so that you can see how, um, how it's supposed to look. So hopefully this helps you and it all makes sense. Look for that link as soon as we're done. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching tonight and stamping with me. I hope that you guys are feeling good and calm and relaxed and happy creative and inspired. Um, I know I'm feeling all of those things and I hope that you'll join me again next Thursday for my regular Thursday night stamping therapy. If you are not a customer yet and you would like to make a purchase for me, you can shop at my store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Use my host code in the video description and I'll send you a free gift and a free project kit with three different projects that you can make when you order $40 or more. That's for everyone in the United States. So sorry if you're watching from another country, um, but I'm sure that you have awesome demonstrators where you are as well. All right, ladies, have an awesome night. Ladies and gentlemen, have an awesome night. Have an awesome weekend. Happy Easter, and I will catch you next time. Bye.